Four riddles to help you stay alive no matter what. It's finally here, the day you've been waiting for, the day of summer camp. Now, as you anticipate flying off to a super private island, you believe you are ready for everything to come. Your friends meet you at the airport for your flight. Everything is going well when an emergency suddenly takes place. Everyone is panicking and in just a few minutes, the plane crashes. You wake up in a strange place you don't know. Plus, you don't even remember anything. Now, what do you do? What things can help you if you have nothing but yourself? Hey guys, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. For today's episode, I will teach you four survival riddles that will help you stay alive no matter what happens. So if you're curious about how, just keep watching. So let's continue the story. When you wake up from the crash, you immediately seek out your companions. Unfortunately, they're not there, and you seem to be the only one left. Next, you look for the item you were carrying, but neither is it there. You start getting scared and because you're the only person around and you don't seem to know how to survive in a place you've never know existed, you have no choice but to fight for your own life in that area and wait for help from people who are actually looking for you. But then you're not so sure how long you'll have to wait. You'll need to start looking for a water source because you're getting thirsty. If your body is out of water for three days, you can die. Here is the first riddle. As you search for a source of drinking water, you will find A. A river B. Still and clear water and C. A cactus fruit I will give you 5 seconds to think about what you choose 5 4 3 2 1 Time's up! The best way you can drink is by drinking through a cactus fruit You know why? Because this plant is actually found in areas where there is no water this plant is rich in water and is safer to drink because it is a plant. You can't drink the water in the river even if it looks clean and still. Since it still has bacteria and viruses that can contaminate your stomach that may cause diarrhea and dehydration. If you hit the first riddle correctly, we may continue our journey. Since you are so determined to find out if anyone is in the area, the night has come. During the night, and into the dark, you find it difficult to see where you are going, so you have to spend the night somewhere. As you sit, it starts to become so cold you decide to make a fire to give you light and warmth for the first night of your stay in the area. For the second riddle, what is the most effective way to get warm and some light? A. If you find pieces of wood you can light, you can fix it in a triangular way and then start to light the fire. B. You find bushes easier and more efficient to light and build fire. What will you choose? Letter A or B? You have 5 seconds to choose. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up! For survival, you should choose the triangular method because it will keep the fire longer, while the bushes you like can only give you a lot of smoke due to its leaves that can cause suffocation. Well, now you know! The night has passed and the next morning, you would have to face another day to survive. You're starving and you need to find food you can eat. But there are no fruits that you are sure to eat in this area. While walking, you see A. Mushrooms B. Colorful and delicious looking berries and C. A lot of bugs. For the riddle number 3, what will you choose to eat? You can start selecting now. 5 4 3 2 1 Time's up! The safest and healthiest food you can eat are the bugs. Yes, you heard it right. Even if you think it is a bit disgusting, you literally have no choice. It is nutritious because these bugs are rich in protein, iron, and calcium. You can't just eat berries and mushrooms because most of them have poison that can hurt you. In the meantime, you're running out of ways on how to survive in that area. So you thought, if they couldn't find you and be saved by your loved ones, you would have to find a way to find people who can actually help you. But you'll never know how to find a place where there are actual people. So, for our fourth riddle, how will you find civilization? A. Just go straight. B. Travel uphill. C. Follow the direction of rotting bodies of water. Think carefully, because this is the last way you can get out of the area. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Time's up! If you chose to follow any running bodies of water, you will survive. 
Since most civilizations in remote areas are emerging near bodies of water for water source and food like fishes, it is possible to find civilization if you follow it. When you walk straight, you have a higher chance of going straight. And when you climb uphill, you will have less energy to walk, so that before you can reach your top, you can actually pass out. Success! You have finally found civilization. You can ask for help if they have a way of communicating outside, or else it is safer for you to be with them unless your friends have found you. Aren't you amazed that just by following these riddles, you may actually survive? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated whenever I upload a video like this. You can also share this video with your friends. What's your favorite riddle? Comment them down below. Thanks for watching and keep safe!